Probably one of the hardest things to do for most is to simply send these emails across, especially when you have them in an Excel sheet or a Google sheet. We will help you today to grow your B2B list and leads from zero to 50 in one hour and sending these emails easily and quickly. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Sending emails through Google Sheets directly actually is fairly simple, but not a lot of people know about it. The one way of using that is to use a feature called scripting, which is within the script editor. You click on that, it'll open up the script editor for you. And if you want to send emails directly from your Google Excel sheet or Google Sheet, you simply need to go to this site where you have a example. You can copy paste the actual script and then send emails or if you want to send emails directly you can use a tool called yet another mail merge or yam which where you can sign up and it's very cost effective to actually send emails day on day from Gill sheets without actually putting them into a mail merge going back to the tool our first step now is to use the CSV file so we are assuming that you have a, a list of emails if you don't, then we recommend using our tool called GL Chrome Extension. You have the, the URL to download this tool for free within the description of the YouTube video. Now, once you have a CSV video, the first thing you want to do is to convert that into an Excel sheet. So you can do that by clicking on op Open With an Excel sheet. That will then open up your list in an easy to use format. If you want to just change the color of this, that's no problem at all. I uh, just need to go and click on the, um, if you got a color to it, or you make it bold as well. Um, now, you have within this the actual email address in the column H, and you have the first name over here. Now, simply go on to add ons, yet another mail merge, and click on start mail merge. It will then use a draft of an email saved in your Gmail. So go into that email which you just created, make sure you have the tag first name there and also you have the unsubscribe link as well. That simply is yet another mail merge.com unsubscribe and that will then allow you allow anybody to unsubscribe to your service or to your emails that you're sending out. It's, a, it's again best practice which we need to kind of maintain throughout. Simply then go on to the I'm just gonna do it again for you so you can see it. Click on add-ons, yet a mail mail merge, and click on start mail merge. So we choose email, click on save. I'm gonna send that as, as Raj, and it, you can choose a template. I've got many templates in my draft of my Gmail. I'm just gonna choose the one which says invitation. Now I'm gonna first send out a receive a test mail. Now I can see the test mail has come through and it looks fine i can click on the actual uh link as well and it all looks looks fine what i'm going to do now is i will go ahead and send this email through now it has sent the emails to the to the customers and you'll also get a tracking report as well so you can see who has clicked on it and who hasn't as we click through as the customers click through the emails you can see that they've opened it and when they click on the link, you'll just see uh, if they've clicked on the link as well, that will show one on that. Because you can see over here, it's a very easy way to actually use these tools and then you can review the, the report as the customers click through different emails. If you're looking to collect emails for B2B lead generation, download our free Chrome extension. Please click on the URL in the description to get started.